tuberculosis, a contagious infectious disease caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Today, TB is one of our deadliest diseases, killing over 1.5 million people a year. But how did it get to this stage? What's its history? TB has had many names over the centuries. This is scrofula, the white plague, consumption, but the earliest physical evidence in humans can be traced back to 9,000 years ago. Archaeologists found TB in the remains of a mother and child in the ancient city of Atlit Yam, which is now under the Mediterranean Sea. Historians can often trace diseases through written accounts, and the first recorded mentions of TB in writing were in India, 3,300 years ago. There were continued mentions of TB throughout the ages, including the Greeks, who named it Thysis. During Europe's Middle Ages, people were trying some rather interesting cures for TB. It was thought that the royal touch could cure the disease. Starting with Clovis, king of what became France, in the year 496, thousands of people were touched by monarchs over hundreds of years. The practice continued in Britain until the reign of Queen Anne, which was when the disease really took a hold. From the 1600s to the 1800s, TB caused 25% of all deaths in Europe and the United States. Death rates in major cities were approaching 1,000 deaths per 100,000 people a year. Society often responds in strange ways. In Europe, the disease was romanticized. TB was very prevalent in poets and artists at the time, and the pale, pallid faces caused by TB were thought to be attractive. In early 19th century New England, the response was rather different. TB, or consumption as it was known, was thought to be caused by vampires. As the infection spread quickly through families, people believed that this was due to the deceased TB sufferer draining the life from other family members. It even went as far as bodies being dug up and burned to stop the vampire from attacking and preventing the spread of the disease. Throughout this time, scientists were struggling to work out what caused TB. Was it inherited or infectious? This all changed on March 24th, 1882. German scientist Robert Koch demonstrated that TB was indeed a bacterial infectious disease. This and other scientific advancements led to the development of the BCG vaccine in 1921, which is still used today. TB's long history hasn't ended. The fight against it is still ongoing, but it is hoped that continued advancements in antibiotics, diagnosis and vaccines will help make TB history.